Okay, uh, off-grid solar part two, and uh, just want to talk a little bit about why I uh, why I designed this and uh, off-grid. Uh, we're building a cabin uh, on our uh, our family land up north, and um, it's about eight, about eight hours from us, and um, really nice. A lot of acreage, almost 40 acres, uh, 30 35 something like that. I guess, but uh, anyway, it's a family deal, and um, we're going to be building a cabin out there. And uh, this is eventually going to, uh, I hope, evolve into the primary power source for the cabin. And of course, I'll have my uh, generator back up for you know well pump that kind of thing, charging batteries. I'll probably have some smaller generators as well. But uh, this will be, it'll be uh, uh, eventually a grid tie system, so I'll have the grid hooked up to the cabin, but it'll be designed so that it can run off grid. Eventually, I'll like to get totally off grid, probably. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind what I want to do. It's a couple years away, but all I know now is, is I'm trying to uh, make some electricity uh, for free. Uh, so, uh, this is a, uh, it looks installed, it is not permanently installed, it is a temporary installation and uh, it's designed to come out very quickly and very easily uh, as I discussed with the solar panels before a couple of screws take some wires off and you can load it in the truck uh, this whole system swings open okay from this uh, this edge over here I'll show you it's just got a, a latch here with a key and uh, and then I just open that up and I can get behind it and work on it but um, how this comes off is I've got some screws here that are in place and we just zip those in screw those in just one here one here that holds it steady and then I have hinges on the side of this thing and I just unscrew the hinges uh, take about five minutes and uh, cut the wires uh, or uh, whatever I want to do to pull them through uh, and then unhook the batteries and this whole system comes off so I can literally have this whole system down here in about 30 minutes so um, the panels everything could be in the truck in 30 minutes God forbid I ever have to do that but uh, this system is, is uh, uh, it's going to be taken out eventually and put into our cabin so we cannot do anything permanent uh, here at this house so my purpose for this, uh, my number one goal was to run refrigeration, and uh, it's it's actually working right now. Uh, and I'm pretty surprised. Uh, I, I have a, a little freezer here. I, I'm not sure how big this thing is. Um, probably says somewhere on it, but uh, it is. Um, it's a 2011 model Frigidaire. And uh, I don't know, 4.5, 5.5 cubic feet, very small. But um, I f yeah, I freeze all my rice before I put it in mylar. Uh, but anyway, uh, with this, our idea here is just to have, you know, at least a freezer. We can freeze ice in. Uh, we can keep food frozen in here for a long period of time. We can make ice. And, and take the ice and use it for other refrigeration, other refrigerators for other family members and, and other home, other cabins. Uh, so uh, eventually I want to have uh, maybe three or four freezers and some refrigerators running um, off of this. This refrigerator is, is completely off grid. And that's, I tell you, it's taken a lot to get to that point to have this, this one freezer completely off grid. And it runs uh, very well and doesn't do a lot to the batteries. The batteries at night get down to um, about 95% charged. So it's just barely touches the batteries. It only runs at startup, it'll click over to about 900 watts for about three seconds. Um, and then it'll run at about 145 watts and pulling about an amp and a half. So it, it works very well uh, for this starter system I put together and of course uh, I'll have more batteries and the capacitor will, will, will be better and I'll add uh, everything else uh, but uh, I'm the experiments worked very very well almost flawlessly um, I'm very very happy I'm gonna add 
another one of these freezers about this size, maybe a little bit larger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify that one uh, with the temperature control system so that I can control uh, just how cool that is. And I can, with those, uh, I, I guess they say you can get you can get them to run in, uh, uh, with almost nothing. Uh, so that's my idea is to is to try to run as much refrigeration as I can long period uh, for a long period of time but uh, I've had a tremendous amount of fun uh, putting this together it's not cheap I'll tell you that even you know the little small system like this with some some cheaper components has been uh, has been expensive I guess I have I don't know a grand fifteen hundred dollars something like that in it um, with the panels and the and then the wood and, and and screws and all that stuff that you don't you don't add up um, power strips you know things like kilowatt meters and and things like that but um, it's been a lot of fun and uh, I just uh, want to thank uh, Kevin at the Outer Banks that guy's awesome he's got some great videos. His system is fantastic. Uh, he, he gave me the idea, really, um, to, uh, to you know, to really I, that I should get into refrigeration and, and in an emergency situation. Um, but anyway, that's it. I can't think of anything else to tell you guys. I'm sorry to be, to be so boring and uh, jump around from subject to subject so much. I'm not great at making videos. I'm not going to claim to be. Uh, but if, you know, if you like the video, you like it. If you don't, you know, don't watch it. <laughs> anyway, I should make a. I'm gonna make another video. I think about my generator and what I, what I, what I bought and, uh, and what I was able to do and, and uh, what its capabilities are. And the generator is cool. But anyway, uh, thanks guys and uh, special thanks to you, Kevin Fatterbanks. Rock on, man.